girls and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a unique video for you. I got up this morning with the intentions of cleaning my bathroom and getting all of my makeup organized because it is a disaster. I'm constantly digging through things. I'm dropping things now and breaking them because they're all over. So I really wanted to just get organized and feel organized, I suppose. It's organization day. It's a Saturday. So I was flipping through my emails and I saw that Michaels was having a sale and they were having a 50% off sale on what they called their craft organizers. <laughs> but for us makeup lovers, they are makeup organizers. So I actually went and picked up this today and it's the four drawer one, this one right here, the, the end. And it was on sale for $24.99, normally priced $49.99. I came home, I put it together, and I spent the next three hours organizing all of my makeup, getting all my palettes out, and just really making it look awesome. And now I'm so excited to walk into my bathroom because everything has a place, and it's all organized, and everything's all clean. But I found a lot of stuff. I found. Do you ever go to the store, go to a makeup place, and they just throw in a couple of extra samples, or you order online at Sephora, and they're like, three free samples, and they come in the mail, and you're like, oh, what am I going to do with this? Well, here's just a small portion of what I dug out today. It's all separated out. Here's like all my makeup, cosmetics, all of these free little cards of stuff, um, moisturizers, foundations, all kinds of stuff. That was one. This one is all perfume. This whole thing is all perfumes. Either stuff that Sephora has made for me or the little perfume cards that you get. I mean, I think I have enough perfume here to where I don't have to actually buy perfume for a really, really, really long time. Then, here are all of the little samples. Oh, and look at they're falling out all over the place. Here are all the little samples that Sephora has made for me. All of these. Mostly foundations, moisturizers, and they're all just falling out. Foundations, moisturizers, eye creams. I found some tanning oil in there. I had to throw those away because they were really gross. Um, I've actually done a really good job of keeping them in the package that they came in so I actually know what they are. Uh, I threw a bunch away that I had maybe used once and forgot to put it back in this cute little bag that they give you with the name written on the outside of it. So I have so many of these. So I thought, what would be an awesome idea? An awesome idea would be to do a video using all of the free products. So I did, and this is the look that I got. And if you're interested in knowing what I used, go ahead and stay tuned. And I hope you enjoy it. And if you do, make sure that you comment down below. I have a lot more samples that I have received that should be used. Um, actually, you know what? I shouldn't say that they should because this foundation, this is the NARS, um, the new matte one that they came out with. I love it. I had tried a couple of other ones that in the bags that Sephora made for me, uh, but the color was too light. So I didn't think I liked it too much, but this color, St. Moritz, is awesome. It's so pretty. So stay tuned and watch the video. And again, if you liked it, thumbs up or comment down below and I will dig out some more items and we will do it again. Thanks a lot and I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so we're going to get started. The very first thing that I'm going to do today is I'm going to moisturize and I'm actually going to use the Philosophy Hope in a Jar and I've already taken off the the white one that I plan on using. Uh, I really like the Philosophy products. I don't always use them, um, but this one is the Refreshing and Refining Moisturizer. So you're just gonna wanna take a little bit of this moisturizer and put it on however you normally apply your moisturizer. You should always push up and out with your moisturizer. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and just let that set for a couple minutes. The next thing I'm going to do is use the Benefit um, Puff Off. Now, 
I use this product on a regular basis. Uh, it's in the full size and I'm not really sure if this little sample is really truly going to be, I mean, it's gonna probably help with the puffiness, but when you purchase the full size, it has this little applicator on it that looks like a little iron. It's kind of cute, very gimmicky, but this is supposed to help with your under eye lines um, and any puffiness that you might have. So since I don't have the actual, I do, but we're using products that were free. Um, I'm just going to use my middle ring or my ring fingers here and puff it off, puff it off, huh? pat it underneath my eyes. So a couple of the products that we might be using today will not be free or from one of the little sample cards, but um, they'll be miniature size or something that maybe I received with my 100 points or something that came in my Ipsy bag only because out of this whole collection of items that I have, I didn't have maybe one or two things like the powder and a, a concealer. So now that I have that on and it's dry and it feels like my moisturizer is dry, I'm gonna go ahead and put some concealer underneath my eyes and I'm going to be using the Bye Bye Under Eye from It Cosmetics. This one came in an Ipsy bag one month and I really like this. I've actually, this has lasted me forever, this tiny little tube because a little bit goes a long way. Um, I do have a full size that I have purchased for when this one runs out, but this right here, this tiny, tiny little bit will probably do both of my under eyes. So again, pat between your fingers right here and then and just put some, see how much that's there. I really like this. Bye bye under eye. gonna get my little mirror out here this is something that I actually got at a, a benefit event that Sephora was doing it's the super cute little mirror and it actually stands up like this okay so the next product I'm gonna use is also one that I use all the time it's the um, professional by benefit and I just, I love this product. I do have rather big pores, right, where most women have their um, pore issues. Um, and so I think that this works very well, especially right in through here. And a little bit of this also goes a long way. And sometimes I put a little bit right in through here. And I put it on after I put my concealer on because I feel like I can get a little bit kind of a smudgy line right underneath there. Kind of bring my concealer up just a little bit. I mean, you could do it before if you wanted to. So now that that is on, taming down those pores, we... We're gonna go ahead and go in with some foundation now what I'm gonna use is the NARS velvet matte skin tint broad spectrum FPS oh FPS SPF 30 um, so it has sunscreen in it um, and the reason that I'm using this one I'm using this one in the color st. Moritz and I don't even know if this is going to be the right color for me. I know I have received samples from the store in um, Groenland, Alaska, and maybe Finland. So this one is the in the the first one in the medium category. Um, but I had two of them, <laughs> so I decided, well, I will try this because in case there's not enough in this tiny little package right here, I've got an extra one. Um, I do like the formula of this product. Um, it is really nice. So we'll give the color a whirl and see how it goes. I do have my, you know what, I'm going to do one side with my fingers and then the other side with my beauty blender and I have my little glass dish right here. So I'm going to just go ahead and put some of this on my dish. Not a whole lot in this little package. 
Okay, so that's where what we got out of the first package. Oh, I'm still getting some out. Bear with me, bear with me. Ooh, good smear on there. I guess there's a ton like right here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and Oh, this is a mess. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use my fingers on this side. Color is actually pretty close. So now we're going to go in on the other side with the Beauty Blender and see how well that one does. Just Beauty Blender underneath my eye over here. So I don't want to poke myself in my eye with my fingers. And there's actually so much product in this little sample pack. And I have self-tanned a little bit underneath here, so that might be why this product is a little bit better, matches better than the the samples that I've gotten or that I've received from the store. I really like this foundation. Actually, it's a tinted moisturizer or a BB cream. Let's look again. This is a broad spectrum velvet matte skin tint. Not a foundation, not a BB cream, but a skin tint. Okay, I think I kind of like it better with the Beauty Blender, so I'm just going to go back over the side I used my fingers on. Get a really even application. Hmm. I actually really like that. And I did use pretty much everything that was in the, the package. But the good news is I've got another one for later. Huh? So I can use it again at some point. Okay. Now I need to wipe this off because... Wipe it off. I'll be right back. I need a paper towel. So I didn't have any powders. Um, and actually with this, it does still feel a little tacky, so I think I am actually going to uh, just put a little bit of powder on and I'll use my Beauty Blender, but I am using the Ben Nye powder, the Cameo powder. This is really more or less like a translucent setting powder. Um, I use this to bake, if I'm not using my Laura Mercier, I use this to bake underneath my eyes and just to kind of, you know, give a quick dusting of powder all over. So again, I'm just taking my little plate here and going under. And again, this is not my normal foundation routine or my normal eye routine or any routine that I normally do because I was cleaning out my bathroom today and I come came across all of these little free samples thinking, you know, I should probably use them. It seems like I, I will use some of them and then I end up buying the full size product so when I do my normal foundation and full face routine, I contour and everything, but this would just be if you really wanted to try to use some stuff that you get for free to find out what you should, if you like it or can use it again. So I think it's looking okay. up my powder lid because it would be my luck I would drop my powder and it would go all over the place we're going to move on to the eyes now and when I got the I think it was either the vice 4 palette or the Gwen Stefani uh, urban decay palette I got a sample of their urban decays eye lid primers and so I am going to use I if you haven't watched any of my other videos, I actually use one of Sephora's um, concealer as my eye 
eye eyeshadow. I can't even talk as my eyeshadow primer. So I don't usually use anything else only because I really like the way that my eyeshadow looks when I do use the actual um, concealer. But we're going to go ahead and give one of these a try. And I am going to use, it has four shades in it. I don't even know if they have these anymore. Um, but anyway, this one is Eden. And the reason why I chose this color is because I don't have very much eyeshadow samples um, to use that were free. So I am going, I, I was trying to find a primer that would have had a little bit of color to it. We're just going to go ahead and use our fingers again and put this on the eyelids. Ooh, this has got a lot of color to it. I normally do my eyes before I do my foundation. Only, wow, I use too much. <laughs> well, I don't have to be worried about having too much color on my eyelids now, huh? Or not enough color. Oh, look, I got all over the place. What a mess. This is why I do my <laughs> eyeshadow before I do my foundation. All right, we're going to make it work going to work up off of there now where's my paper towel oh. okay so that is the urban decay eden eyeshadow primer okay i guess it'll work so the only free samples of eyeshadow that I could drum up in this massive collection that I I hauled for myself out of underneath my bathroom and all of my little makeup totes is this uh makeup forever um artist shadow I think these are really pretty old I think they came out with these like last summer um but anyway so we're going to be using what I can get out of this today and this one has I-44, M-536, and D-2, or I'm sorry, D-826, and it says intense payoff and highly blendable. I'm actually just going to take it off this thing. Okay, so put it over here with the rest of the wrappers. Don't really know how much shadow we're going to get, but I might be pleasantly surprised. I was with the foundation and obviously now with the primer um I am trying to figure out what brush I should use I think um choices okay so I'm gonna use this really light color right here and I'm going to take the Fluenta Artiste brush and this one is the Circle 3, I think, Oval 3, sorry, Oval 3. Um, and I'm just going to put that all over my lid. Not much is coming off here. I don't think it's going to show very much. I'm actually going to use my mirror. I can see a difference looking in the mirror. So let's get... I want to make sure I have enough for both eyes here. Since they were so generous with the little... Yeah, I got some product on there. Okay, so again, this is the I-414 color. Doesn't want to come off. Okay. This one's way lighter. I think I used it all off of here. Let's see if I can get any more off. Just put a little bit more on this side. Not going to have any for a highlight shade, but that's okay. Okay, so now I am going to take the M. 536 which is this middle one right here and I am just and I'm gonna take the actually I'm going to use the Artiste what is this one 
circle one. And I'm actually just going to kind of make a crease in my, go into my crease here. Why do women always open their mouth when they put on their makeup? I do it. <laughs> Not too much difference there. But again, I don't have a whole lot of product to work with. Okay. But even though I didn't have a lot of product, it's still free. Okay. And then the last color I'm going to use is the last one on this little free palette. Free piece of paper and it's this pink color right there and I am going to use um, just an old Ulta professional brush um, it's a concealer brush but you know what actually I'm not going to use that one I am going to use maybe I'll go back to this I'm going to use the artist for only because oval for only because I am going to actually sweep it across the movable part of my lid right here find something with a little more surface area it's kind of a strange video guys but I thought you know it would be kind of fun to just use stuff that I found in my drawers I think that was the best color out of all of them that one was really actually pretty good nice pretty Just gonna deepen it up just a little bit more. Right at the bottom of the movable lid. Good. I I was gonna use this that I got in an Ipsy bag, I think last month's Ipsy. Um, but I actually really just kind of like this real soft color. I wish that there was just a little bit darker shade in there so I could just darken up the corner right here a little bit more, but I mean, we're just playing here, so that will be good. So we're done with the actual shadow. Who's calling me? So I am going to now line my eyes, and I probably had more eyeliners that I had received as a freebie at some point. Uh, I couldn't find them or they might have been in there, but I don't really know if they were freebies But I definitely know that this one is this one is from the balm and this is uh, Mr. Wright now and this one came in an ipsy bag and it's just a real pretty No, it's not very dark at all. That one's not even going to show up. Let's try That's a lip pencil um Okay, I don't think I have a liner, but let me okay. double check. I was able to locate an Urban Decay pencil. I'm not sure where I got this. I may have bought it. It may have been a gift with a purchase or something of that nature, but we're going to go ahead and use this one because the other one that I know that I got as a gift or something with an Ipsy bag wasn't going to show up whatsoever. So we're going to go ahead and use this one. And this one is in the color Delirious. And it's sort of a purpley color. Just going to go ahead and do a little bit of liner right here on this eye. I'm going to go ahead and line underneath as well. And I just did a really tiny little small winged eyeliner over there. So I am going to take my linear one from Artiste and just going to kind of buff that out a little bit. Kind of smoke it just a little bit looks much better 
All right, so now I'm going to say that this is the star of the show. Other than the fact that I have a bazillion little sample things. Uh, I got this the other day when I got an order from um, another store. And it is the Chanel. Let's see. La Le Volume de Chanel mascara in black. Well, 10 Nior, which is black. Now, this is really cool. It's in this tiny little container right here. And the brush is actually inside. This is awesome. And I actually wore this today because I kind of had a no makeup makeup day. And I think this mascara is awesome. I didn't even, well, I wasn't going to wear false lashes today, but I felt like I was wearing false lashes. So let's look at my lashes right now without like there are no lashes there at all. So let's put this on. We'll do one eye and then not the other and it'll be really cool. This is awesome mascara. I think I have maybe found my new favorite. I don't even know how much this costs, but it is a great mascara. I am so excited about this. See, getting samples is so great because then, I mean, they got you. They, you've tried it, you love it, you want to go buy some more so you have tons. This is just a great mascara. And that's just one coat. Look at them. They're great. This is a great mascara. Okay, I'm gonna do the other side. I'm gonna recoat my wand. There seems like there's a ton in this tiny little package right here. Guys, I need this in my life, like totally bad. Maybe I could actually stop wearing false lashes every day. I love this. Fabulous. Wonderful. Now I just have to go see how much it costs. Okay, so we've got shadow. We have lashes. Let's go ahead and do some eyebrows. So this is my Chella eyebrow pencil from a Nipsey bag. It's kind of too light for me. Actually, it's almost gone. Um, it is a little too light, but it will work. For right now. Looks a little sparse on this end. But there's not a whole lot left in this. I think it's gone. I think it's time to find the trash can. Okay, so brows are done. Cheeks. Blush. Didn't have any powder blush samples or anything, but I did find a Lolly Balm. Yes, Lolly Balm from Benefit. And I'm not a real big fan of cream blushes because I think they're sticky, but I have this one and it was free. Again, I would normally highlight and contour. And I'm not a pinky blush. Now I look like a clown. Huh. Okay. So I'm actually just going to use my beauty blender and kind of blend it in a little bit. Ooh, that's way too pink for me. And if I was actually going to go out with this look, I would probably put some powder on over it so it didn't have that sticky feeling. So there's that. I didn't do my bottom eyelashes and the only reason why I didn't is because that wand on that Chanel mascara is so big that I know I'm going to end up getting it all over underneath but if I was using my own products I would definitely use probably my Benefit Roller Lash to get those bottom lashes really good um, but I don't have a free one of those so we will go naked on our bottom lashes today. Um, 
let's see here. The last thing is lip colors. And I know for sure that this one came in my Gwen Stefani um, palette. And this one came with four colors. And at the time that these were in there, they were obviously free sample, but she hadn't come out with them yet. And now they are out. So let's see. The colors here is Rock Steady, and that's a cream. Um, 714, which is a mega matte. Uh, Ex-Girlfriend, which is a sheer. And Firebird, which is a cream. So... Let's go bold. Let's do the mega. Oh, let's do the rock steady. And that one is a cream. Um, I should, let me see if I have a Q-tip. Okay. So we're going to use this rock steady, which is this one up here. It's going to have fun. Maybe. get it open. I need some muscles, I guess. Okay, here it goes. Ugh. This one's really pretty. Can I just put it on my Q-tip and get my mirror back out? I'm like a little kid. If I don't have a line, I can't stay inside my line. So I'm doing my best. I love this color. It's beautiful. Not too bad. A piece of cotton on my lip. Definitely could have used a lip liner. Um. Okay, so let's recap here. We used all everything except for potentially the eyeliner and for sure the setting powder because I didn't have any of those samples. But everything else that made this look right here came from all of these little things that you get and you wonder what should I do with all of this stuff? Well, the answer is Create a look. Use what you try stuff. Just try it because you might like it. I think I might be going to purchase this lipstick. I need another lipstick like I need a hole in my head, but this is absolutely beautiful. And the formula is really, really good. So, anyway, thank you for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little impromptu uh, makeup session, lesson, tutorial, or how to use what you have sitting around because it was free lesson. Um, if you guys want to see more videos, go ahead and comment down below. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe. Uh, as I've said before, I'm very new to YouTube. I really enjoy doing this um, and I would love it if you would subscribe and come back and see me again. So I am going to go get ready to do another video only because I haven't done anything all week. So take care of each other and we'll see you again soon. Bye.